So uh, here we are. I'll take the glasses off so I can be really in character. Here we are with uh, with the lovely Alice. Uh, we're doing um, speaking frankly with Frank Pickle. What do you think? How are you, Alice? Yeah. Oh, Moustache right. is coming off. <laughs> it's not good. Moustache. So how are you feeling about dress rehearsals? You reckon you're doing all right? Yes. Yeah. Those balls. Look at those balls on her head. What a nice pair of of fluffy balls. It doesn't. It, I can't. They're not fluffy on the screen. Oh, not fluffy. No. And, and cough. <coughs> Here she is, getting her hair done. Yes. She does. Love her brush. It's quite nice. Yeah. 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 This is smooth and shiny. This is where you put the accent on. Would you like a short back and sides? Uh, a cup of tea? A cup of tea? Would you like a cup of tea? Would you like a cup of tea? Yeah. Would you like a cup of tea? Hello and welcome to another episode of Speaking Frankly with Frank Pickle. And today we're here with Jeremy, uh, who's going to read us a passage, I believe. Uh, go ahead, Jeremy. Uh, today's reading is from the book of Lilith, uh, chapter 3, verse 69. Oh. <laughs> and lo, the serpent was spent, and Lilith did look upon herself and know she had sinned. She consulted with Adam, what should I do? Adam, in his wisdom, said, We should consult with the tree of knowledge. So they went back to the Garden of Eden. And the burning bush did say unto them, Turn the other cheek. And this is why you should not have sex out of marriage, because if you don't tame the serpent, you could end up with the burning bush irritating you. Oh, that's not good. It's quite ew, yuck. All right, so here we are. Another episode of Speaking Frankly with Frank Pickle. We're walking up behind the scenes in the rehearsal process and dress rehearsals. All our lovely people with us. We're going to go backstage now. So here we are backstage with the other actors during our dress rehearsals. How are we, David? We're good. I'm trying to work out why I'm singing Dean Martin, to be honest. <laughs> it's, <laughs> the script. it's not the script. script. No. It's not the script. It's not the script. I would never think about cheating and putting the script on the table in front of me. No, no, no. no that, that's a no, no. We, we can't have that. Very, very un un uh, unprofessional. Very unprofessional. And how are we, Hugo? We've got Hugo over here. Hey, I'm quite well. You're quite well. Oh, no, you're quite tall. Yes. You're, hang on, I'll put the screen on. There we go. If that's going there to work. Go. No, it's not going to work. Anyway, it's, it's recording. Hey, there yes. we go. That's, that's, that's it. So how hey. are we feeling, Hugo? Doing quite, good? Quite well, quite well. Quite yes. well, quite yes. excited. It is quite a show. Yes. yes. Why are you so excited? Uh, this is one of the first times that I've been on stage. Oh, dearie me. It's yes. been a while. In a while. It's a bit nervy too, isn't it? Because, because you don't know what the audience is going to be like, whether no. they're going to be riotous mm. and loving who we are, or they're going to be throwing bananas and fruit at us. Hey, I... I I wouldn't mind a banana being thrown at me. Maybe an orange. A an tomato orange? Is, is, an, is an often, often one. It happened when I was a child. Though. I don't know why, but at least I got my tomatoes. I had a watermelon thrown at me once. Watermelon? Yes. Hey, stop that ridiculous what? accent. What? <laughs> what? What accent? What accent? What are you talking about? You've got an Irish accent now. Why have you got an Irish accent? Yeah, I do an Irish accent. <laughs> this is my Irish accent. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> mm. I don't know. That is good. What? <laughs> Double accents. <laughs> Yeah, I don't taste it a bit, then hang on. Hang on. Um, now I can't do my thing. My Russian oh, accent. Oh, I'll say it up. This is the... No, no, no. Too many accents right now. <laughs> Too many accents. All right, so we're signing off now. Another episode of Speaking Frankly with Frank Pickle. <laughs> this is what we're doing. We're doing a webisode. Frankly, it is, uh, it is time to go. Right, so you realise that webisodes yeah. hadn't been invented when this came out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shut! <laughs> Podcast, maybe. Cool. How to be a good bigger podcast. Uh, this is our call. We're going to get you back on stage, so uh, we'll see you later. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, well, here we are on the very first show. We're doing Speaking Friendly with Frank Pickle, all of our wonderful cast with us and crew. And uh, how are we feeling tonight, guys? We're feeling great. It's pretty great. I feel lovely as a blonde. It's a new experience. 
So no nerves just yet. We've got all the patrons coming in shortly and we're going to see how the vicar's doing as she's getting set up. How are we doing, vicar? Doing well. Just a bag of nerves, really. A bag of nerves? Why are we a bag of nerves, though? Well, apparently I have a leading role and yes. Well, you are a star. We absolutely love the vicar. Right. We do. I just need to get paid more for this, don't I? Well, it'd be good to get a little bit of coin, wouldn't it? Yes. yes. If a petrol voucher would be fine. A petrol voucher, yes. 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 Frank, mm? please go away. I'll go away. Yes. Yes. Give me some time. Because it is a very special time as we get into the first show. We don't want to upset any of the actors. It's very important <laughs> that they have a little bit of quiet time before we go on stage. So I will see you later. Thank you very much for joining. Uh, now, by speaking frankly with Frank Pickle... Actually, before we do, I'm going to go downstairs and go and see how the guys are doing. Because I think they're all, uh, hello guys, so uh, we've got the lovely Alice here, and we've got Hugo as well. Hello, how are you? So just before the first show, we're just feeling uh, how we're feeling at the moment. How are we doing, guys? Yeah, uh, excited. excited. Yeah. Quite excited, and uh, a bit nervous. I think I need to do a bit of a... A nervous we, if you be so. A little we? Oh, okay. Uh, yes, of course. Just a little one, not a big Just a one. one. Just a little one. We're going to go and see the other cast and see how they're doing at the moment. <laughs> they're probably uh, talking to each other. So. All down in the dressing room and getting all prepped by the director. So we kind of know what we're doing, but... Uh, Bickies? What have we got? Bickies? Oh, what sort of bickies do we have? Yummy ones. Oh, yum. Show us. Mm, yum. Yes. So, uh, yeah, so as I said, we're, we're sort of getting our bearings before we have the first audience. And, uh, yes, it's exciting. Very exciting. I'm, look at the camera here. There we are. So, uh, thank you very much for joining. Speaking frankly, we're Frank Pickle. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hello there! Well, I've just been given a very nice little muffin. I don't know if you can see that. It's quite delicious. It looks quite yummy. Uh, do we like muffins, guys? Moist muffin. I like a moist muffin. Do you like a moist muffin? Oh, I, I had a moist muffin earlier. I don't know if it was too moist, but it would just have that little bit of drip from the juice. Oh, that's nice. I like a bit of cream on mine. Do you like a bit of cream on your muffin? Yes. Ah. <laughs> Just lick my muffin. <laughs> oh dear me! <laughs> Hello, welcome to Speaking Frankly with Frank Pickle. Uh, we're doing show number two. We've got young Oakley here with us, who's in the audience today. What do you think of it, Oakley? I thought it was a really good show. It's pretty good. Yes. What was the best part of the show? Mm. Uh, it's not really the best part. It's just the whole show. Was nice. Whole show. Yeah. Five, five, that's fantastic. And what did you think? This is Eden. It was marvelous. It was marvelous. Marvelous show. It was fun to see it. It was brilliant. Thank you very much for coming. We also have Spot here. Quite frankly, it was nothing short of amazing. Amazing! Well, we've got a thumbs up from three. I believe we've got a thumbs up from three. Fantastic. Yes. So that is speaking frankly with Frank Pickle. Come along and see the show. Oh, actually, I think we're sold out. But we do have, if you look up here, balcony seats. So if you want to get balcony seats, just contact us and we will certainly get you some seats for this very popular show. As you can see, we're wrapping up show number two. Next week is show number three. So we'll go from there. See you there. Bye. <laughs> Hello, it's another uh, talking or speaking, frankly, with Frank Pickle. Uh, we've got the very tall uh, Jeremy here, who's going to read us a passage, I believe. Are you reading us a passage? Yes, today's reading is from the book of Lilith. Okay. Verse 3, chapter 69. Right. And lo, the serpent was spent, and Lilith did look upon herself and know that she had sinned. She turned to Adam and said, what should I do now? Adam said... We should consult the tree of knowledge. And hence, the burning bush did say, you should turn the other cheek. Burning bush. Mm. Oh, forget the rest of it. <laughs> Another take. 